take a moment to read the question so we have a circle which intersects a given parabola at a point P in the first quadrant and we have to find out the acute angle between the tangents to the circle and the parabola at this point. How do we do this question? So first of all, let us label the two curves as C1 for the circle and C2 for the parabola. Now we can easily sketch their graphs. So the parabola is a rightward opening parabola. It looks like this. The circle is centered at the origin. So it looks like this. Now these two curves clearly intersect at a point in the first quadrant and we need to find out the coordinates of that point. So replacing y squared with 2x in the first equation, we get this. Now adding 1 on both sides of this equation, we get an equation like this, which means x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 3 squared. So x plus 1 is equal to plus minus 3. So the two values of x are 2 and minus 4. Since the point of intersection is in the first quadrant, we take x as equal to 2. The corresponding value of y can also be easily found. It's equal to 2. And therefore, the point of intersection is 2 comma 2. Let us mark this in the diagram. Now we have to find out the slopes of the tangents at this point of intersection. And for that, we would need the derivatives of the two curves. So here is the equation of the first curve. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get this equation, which simplifies to this. And therefore, y dash is equal to minus x by y. Now the point of interest is 2 comma 2. And therefore, the derivative's value is equal to minus 1. Let us call this value as m1. This is the slope of the tangent to the circle at the point of intersection. Now for the second curve, we do the same thing. We differentiate both sides with respect to x to get this, which means y dash is equal to 1 by y. Now the point of intersection is 2 comma 2. Therefore, y dash at this point is equal to half. And let us call this as m2. So this is the slope of the tangent to the second curve at the point of intersection. We can now use this formula to find out the tan of the acute angle between the two tangents. So plugging in for m1 and m2, we get this, which simplifies to this expression, which is equal to 3. And therefore tan theta is equal to 3 or theta is equal to tan inverse of 3. So the correct answer is option A.